In today's video, we're going to discuss how if you're equipped with certain tools that are not necessarily standard in undergrad, it can really take you a long way. And this is an example of a problem that really hones that in. And it's Putnam 2018 number B6. We're going to take a look at a solution that actually exploits generating functions. And even if you don't know what that is, we'll explain how to go about thinking about the problem in this way and forward you to some videos on this channel that talk about generating functions in general. So stay tuned for the interesting solution to this particular problem. Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Prof Omar. This channel is dedicated to undergraduate theorems and problems for your journey through the undergraduate and to prepare you for the journey beyond. If this is your first time on the channel and this resonates with you, definitely subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications on future videos. And if you're coming back and you're a subscriber already, welcome back. So today we're going to discuss this problem that I like a lot. It's Putnam 2018 number B6. And the thing is, when you're actually taking the Putnam exam, questions like B6 tend to be quite difficult in general. Um, so people tend to be deterred from even trying this because you have five other problems you're looking at already, and this one tends to be harder than the other ones even. But this problem happens to be a really fair problem if you have a particular type of background, particularly knowing a little bit about generating functions. So the question says, let S be the set of sequences of length 2018 whose terms are in the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 10. And whose terms sum to 3,860. It says prove that the number of elements in S is at most 2 to the 3,860 times this quantity to write over here, which is a number just less than 1 raised to the 2018. Okay, so I want to cast this as a generating function type problem. The way that generating function problems work, if you don't know about them, which is perfectly great, if you want to know a little bit more about generating functions, definitely check out this video right here where I talk about some fundamentals of generating functions and examples therein. Okay, so a way to think about this is you have a sequence of 2018 things. And in each slot, you're selecting one of the numbers right over here. And then you're adding them up to get this particular sum. So what you can do is associate to every single one of these components, a uh, series is going to turn out to be a polynomial in the variable x that keeps track of what you place in here in the exponents. So for this, for ex example, for this slot, we're picking one of these numbers right over here. So we're going to encode that by this polynomial right over here that has all of our choices in the exponents. Okay. Now, for this next slot, we're going to do the same thing. We'll have this same polynomial. I'll just write dots here to x to the 6th and then an x to the 10th. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for every single one of these. So we have 2018 polynomials. They're all the same polynomial. And the observation to make, which is an observation we make when we think about generating functions, is to look at the product of these. If you look at the product of these, when you expand this out, what you get is one monomial from every single term from the 2018 terms multiplied and written down. That's one of the summands in this expansion. But when you take elements one by one from each of these polynomials and multiply them, you're adding the exponents. So the exponent that you read is actually the sum of the numbers chosen in these slots when you think about the numbers chosen as being associated with the monomial you choose in each one of these polynomials. Okay, so as a consequence, if you're interested in the number of sequences that sum to 3,860, that's going to be the x to the 3,860 coefficient of this entire product. Again, because anytime you see a th x to the 3,860 in this expansion, what you've done is selected 2,018 monomials whose exponents sum to this, right? And that means you've selected 2,018 numbers from this set, because that's what these numbers here are, that sum to 3,860. Okay, so we'll write this down then, that the size of S 
is, I'll write it this way, the coefficient of 3860. This is sometimes notation used for the coefficient of a uh, monomial in x to the 1, x to the 2, x to the 3, x to the 4, x to the 5, x to the 6, plus x to the 10, all raised to the 2018th power. Okay, so what that means then is this term, the size of our set x to the 3860, appears as one of the terms in the expansion of this thing. Okay, so um, anytime x is a particular positive number, this quantity right over here is actually less than this quantity over here. Because when we expand this, this is one of the terms, and when we expand this, all of the terms are positive. Okay, so the first thing I want to do actually is simplify this a bit. So we have a 2018 over 2048. We can divide by two, we'll get 1009 on the numerator here. And 1024 over here. Um, okay, so we notice that there's something interesting going on here. Like you might think, why write an inequality like this in the first place? Um, well, if you look at what's going on here, you have like something like this with a two involved, but the two is over on this other side. And then you also have this number right over here, which happens to be two to the exponent 10. And you have an exponent of 10 here and this 2018 over here. So one way to resolve this actually is by recognizing that here we really have a one over two to the 10 and we can write this over here to get a one over two to the 3,860. So if we plugged in x equals a half, here, if you add up these things and find a common denominator, the common denominator is gonna be one over two to the 10, or is gonna be two to the 10, and then the sum of the exponents here is gonna be all the stuff that's left over, which happens to be, so this thing is 1,024. If you clear the denominators, this happens to be 1,009. Um, so by plugging in x equals a half, you get that the size of s times 1 half to the 3,860 is less than or equal to this quantity we have over here, where we have a 10 to the 24 in the denominator, and then multiplying by this power of two, we get exactly the inequality that we wanted in the problem. So this is kind of fascinating. It's a quite short proof that comes directly from exploiting generating functions. And this is a technique that's very useful whenever you're looking at sums of elements in restricted sets, especially when they're weird like this, where you go from one to six and then all of a sudden jump to 10, you can at least make some leeway by looking at this polynomial representation and extracting coefficients. So a cool way to solve a problem that is typically would be considered very difficult on a very difficult contest to begin with, using some strategies that exploit um, generating functions as a great tool to use. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, click the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, definitely subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications on future videos.